For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. John 3.16 But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified and said, It's a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. Matthew 14, 26 through 27. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the old heaven and the old earth had disappeared, and the sea was also gone. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, like a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. I heard a loud shout from the throne, saying, Look, God's home is now among his people. He will live with them, and they will be his people. God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes, and there will be no more death or sorrow, or crying, or pain. All these things are gone forever. He will give everlasting life to those who search for glory, honor, and immortality, but persisting in doing what is good. Romans 2.7 Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. In this way, you show that you are the children of your Father in heaven. Matthew 5, 44 through 45. How can you think of saying to your friend, let me help you get rid of that speck in your eye when you can't see past the log in your own eye, hypocrite. First get rid of the log in your own eye, then you will see well enough to deal with the speck in your friend's eye. Matthew 7, 4 through 5. Beware of false prophets who come disguised as harmless sheep, but are really vicious wolves. You can identify them by their fruit, that is, by the way they act. Can you pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? A good tree produces good fruit and a bad tree produces bad fruit. A good tree can't produce bad fruit and a bad tree can't produce good fruit. So every tree that does not produce good fruit is chopped down and thrown into the fire. Yes, just as you can identify a tree by its fruit, so you can identify people by their actions. Matthew 7, 15-20 not everyone who calls out to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Only those who actually do the will of my Father in heaven will enter. On judgment day, many of you will say to me, Lord, Lord, we prophesied in your name and cast out demons in your name and perform many miracles in your name. But I will reply, I never knew you. Get away from me, you who break God's laws. Matthew 7, 21-23. When Jesus saw the crowd around him, he instructed his disciples to cross to the other side of the lake. Then one of the teachers of religious law said to him, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. But Jesus replied, Foxes have dens to live in and birds have nests, but Son of Man has no place even to lay his head. Another of his disciples said, Lord, first let me return home and bury my father. But Jesus told him, Follow me now. Let the spirits of the dead bury their own dead. Matthew 8. 18 through 22.